All right, Shalom. First, let's start by saying all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yavashai, by Shem Rakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the will, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Now, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. It says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall at attain unto wise counsel. Right, man? You know, this word was given to us because this is our heritage, and this was the law, such as commandments. That was going to keep us in the way. Uh, hold on. And help us step over the other nations. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. It says, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Right? So Israel is supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. All right, so that's the outlook that they are supposed to have upon us, man. Uh, you know, not as being called the filth of the world and stuff, man, but, you know, we sinned against Yahweh Shem Shai and we paying for it, you know, but the times we're living in, the Lord bringing us back unto him, man. A select group back unto him, his elect, his chosen. And the two-thirds going to be cut off, man, because they want to uh, continue to remain in the ways of Egypt. It says, uh, verse 7, for what nation is so great, is there so great, who hath the most high so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great, that has statutes and judgments so righteous, right, the statutes and judgments are righteous, as all this law which I set before you this day. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart, which is thy mind, all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Right, and that was this. This is straight orders from the Habash Shai, man. Because you know, uh, it was for us to keep, you know, to be be over the nation, like you said, man. You know, but we went off, and now it's given back to us, and now we got to keep it. To ensure our um, deliverance about this place, man. So we won't become a, a missile food. Let me see. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse so like, yeah. 33, verse 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right? So to know the Lord's uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge, uh, and that's in this Bible, that's what's going to save you during the times to come. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, man? Because no matter what we do, if you know, or or if we do anything outside, uh, outside of this, we're going to be uh, destroyed. Plain and simple, man. You don't get no uh, blunder than that. This is back to Proverbs chapter one. Um, so at verse 5, it says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So the wise men are the ones that's increasing in learning and understanding, man. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, right? Because it's only revealed to the Lord's servants, you know? Uh, 
verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right, man. So, you know, Jake, two-thirds of Israel don't want to hear what Yahweh Shemabashah got to say. They want to partake in this kingdom and hold hands with uh, um, family members or, or hold hands with uh, the heathen nations. You know, which is totally against the scriptures, man. The scriptures say, you, you know, the Lord doesn't have an agreement with them, man. You're not supposed to be holding hands with these people because these people are not in the faith, man. You got Israelite groups that's trying to hang out with all the unbelievers, you know. You got Israelites that fell out the truth because they wanted to uh, 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 be of this world or, or certain family members. We was given strict uh, law, and commandments, which is our wisdom. In history on stuff that happened when it was kept, when the word was kept, and when it wasn't kept. And we got to keep it uh, the right way in order to be, to be delivered and uh, have our faith uh, established in the society, man. Hmm. I'll come back to that one. This is... Uh, Second Corinthians chapter six verse fourteen it says, "Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what sh fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness?" Right, man. So those who don't believe, we're not supposed to be around this place acting like they just are our, our, our fellow brethren in the truth and stuff, man. Why? Because they sinning against Yahweh Shem Rashad. You got friends that still gang bang. You got friends. Uh, shit. Uh, you got guys. <laughs> Who don't who don't mind having uh, homosexual lesbian friends and stuff, which is totally against the Bible. You got you got people that got friends that, that uh, 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 in, uh, indulge in witchcraft. And the Lord, that's why the Lord be saying, that's why the Lord said to separate because these people can bring you back into the world. It says be not uh, entangled again with the world. You got to come as a new creature, man and woman, the Israelite brothers and Israelite sisters. You know. You know, and uh, and you know, start with myself. I have to be an example of that until until the brothers, you know, you know. It says, um, verse fifteen, and one concord hath he have a shy with by uh, Belial, which is the devil, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel, an unbeliever? And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, right? So we ain't supposed to be, you know, uh, 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 going against these precepts. We ain't supposed to be uh, worshiping no other God on the side while we do this Israelite thing, you know. We ain't supposed to be uh, um, holding hands with unbelievers, man. You know, because when you go outside of this word, you ultimately worship another God, man. It says... Um, what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. That's that righteous spirit in us. And I will be their power and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be separate. Especially during the times we're living in. And we're coming up into the Passover. You know, you don't want to be uh, hanging out with guys that you know ain't worth shit. And ain't know nothing that's bringing you back to the world. Got you sending this stuff, man. Said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And uh, and will be your father, a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. Said the Lord Almighty. Right, man. So the Lord only go deal only dealing with those who gonna do His will on this side, and then two thirds of Israel, the ones that's not gonna do the will, gonna be birthed back into the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, on this side, it's just, there's an elect, there's a chosen. A small sanctuary, like the scriptures say. <laughs> this is Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 16. Therefore say, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, right? We scattered all over this place, all over the world. And although I have scattered them among the countries, 
yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Right, a little sanctuary. The Lord only going to deal with his elect, man. The Lord not dealing with everybody, man. Everybody not, not uh, 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 going to make it in the chariots, you know, because everybody not with the Lord. You got, you got guys, same spirits came back in the reincarnation. The ones that don't make it are the ones that came up against the Yahweh Bashim Shai who didn't believe, man. So what makes you think that uh uh if they didn't if they came up against the Lord, they're not gonna come up against you eventually. If they're not coming up against you now, eventually they're gonna come up against you and point you out to the uh uh, uh to the troops and get you thrown in the concentration camps or you know, or have you put to death. This is Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty. It says, uh he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me that cometh into the truth, cometh come into the truth, scattereth abroad, right, into different philosophies of this world. So if they're not doing what you're doing, then you know they of the world, man. Or believing in what you believe in, it's like yeah. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 25. It says, it is, in, it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more should they call them of his household? Right, so us that's following Yahweh Shema Shai and the new brothers that's coming in, they call Yahweh Shai the devil for doing the work and they're going to call uh, us the devil for doing the work. Fear them not. Therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, right, when we go and do our little studies and not get out, gather our information, that speak ye in the light, right, and speak it to the people when we go on the highways and byways, and what you hear in the air, that preach ye upon the housetops, right, and we do that when we out there on the streets, man. And fear not them which kill the body, because, you know, like the scriptures say, uh, you're going to be killed, some brother's going to be killed for the truth. But I'm not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. And the Lord can put you in a jacked up body. You know. It says, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before the Father which is in heaven. Right, you have to confess the whole truth, the name and the doctrine, from the chip, knowing the chip, uh, uh, so on and so forth. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, right? So if the Lord deny you in heaven, if you don't die by way of any of these plagues or the famine or whatnot, you're going to be hit with that sword, that nuclear missile. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against his mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, right? So there's going to be separation. Yet you don't have the believers versus the unbelievers, and a man's foes, a man's enemies, shall be there of his own household, right? So you got to watch what you do and what you say around, you know, your enemies, you know, your sisters and brothers that ain't in the truth, man. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross, his burden, this word, and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, right? The ones that that want to partake in this society and live it up, they're going to die. And he that loses his life for my sake, give up everything, shall find it. You're going to be a king in the kingdom of heaven with a hundredfold. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Right? So, you know, uh, I'm going to end it off on that.
With that being said, I'll post the Hobo by Shimon Yahweh Shai by Shimon Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.